festive cocktail time. So our lovely friends down at the Borders Distillery have sent us a few of their products to have a little bit of a play with. Um, and you should check them out because particularly the vodka is very, very good and we're waiting for the first lot of whiskey to come out of there, but that's quite exciting. In the meantime, they're buying whiskies from across Scotland and mixing them up and doing interesting things with the wood. And this one, Lower East Side, uh, which always makes me feel a bit like a rapper, like Lower East Side. Uh, I don't know why, but um, that's how it makes me feel. Um, they've designed this one uh, to be good for things like a man Manhattan or an old fashioned. So, um, what I've tried to do is go for a sort of Christmassy whiskey sour. So, I'm going to go with um, some cranberry juice and some lemon juice to give us the sum of the sourness. And then for sweetness, I've made a little sugar syrup, but uh, along with the 50% brown sugar, 50% water, I've added some cinnamon bark and a little bit of cardamom just to give it that sort of more festive feel, you know? Um, so it's not just an excuse for a strong drink uh, in the middle of the day. Um, this is a really useful cocktail ingredient, okay? If you are not familiar with it and you are a bit bored of importing bourbon from the other side of the planet, this is a good way to go. It's quite fun. It's got a real uh, aroma to it and quite a smoky... It's got that... It's, it's definitely whiskey rather than bourbon, but it's got that certain sweet stickiness to it, that sort of cigar smoky kind of feel. So. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to break another rule and I'm going to shake this rather than stir it. Um, I'm going to go with some lemon juice and I want uh, roughly the juice of one small organic unwaxed lemon. I'm going to put that in there, sieving out the pips using my special portable sieve. And then I'm going to go for roughly the same quantity of uh, cranberry juice. And you could use freshly squeezed cranberries, but I'm just using the variety of cranberry juice that comes from uh, um, you know, the shop. Try not to get a sweet one because we don't want it to be too sweet. It's a whiskey sour. So in with that, a little drop of our sugar syrup to balance the acidity. And I'm gonna go half the amount because it's spicy and it's rich and it's gonna take over if we're not careful. And then I'm gonna go whiskey. Roughly the same amount of whiskey as there is everything else. Maybe just a tiny bit extra because it's Christmas. Um, there we go. Put that in there the lid of the shaker on, make sure the shaker's closed on the top, give it a little shake. Make it really cold. Okay, lid off, uh, and then just hold back the ice with your special finger, and I'm gonna pour this into this uh, beautifully prepared glass, which has got one great big chunk of ice in the middle, so it doesn't dilute the drink too much, but keeps it nice and cold. And there we have it. The uh, Tim's Wild Kitchen Winter Festive Cranberry Sour. Okay, made with this beautiful Lower East Side whiskey from the Borders Distillery. Enjoy. Mm.